Hello and welcome. I'm Lutz Stratmann and today I would like to show you in this PalmSense unboxing video what you get when you order a multi m set 4. Well, you will first find that you get a big black bag. And now let's have a look what's inside the big black bag. Well, of course, the first thing you should notice when you get your bag is that there's a multi Amstead 4 in there. So this is a multi Amstead 4 low range. You see that from the blue front, if it has a black front, that's the high range version. Also, this is a 12 channel version, so it's like having 12 potential stats. Also, you will find inside there, well, the software manual. Well, don't worry if you're not into paper manuals. There's also a digital version included. A test report to show you that the instrument properly went through a quality control. A quick start. If you don't want to watch this video, just read that quick start and you're good to go. And some information about our other instruments. Then you will find in here a power supply because unfortunately the multi-channel ones need to more power than you can get through your USB plug. And then you also have all the cables that you require to connect all the channels. So this is for connecting your electrodes and they end, the, our cables end in two millimeter banana plugs. So to connect your electrodes easily, you get for every channel as well some crocodile clips. Also, you will find in your delivery this USB stick that um, has the software multi-trace on it and a digital version of the manual so you can easily get started and install your software. You can also, of course, make an account on our website in our download section and download the software from the website wherever you are. There's a USB cable in there, this time not for power, but for communication with the instrument. Then we have the cable to ground the housing, if that's what you uh, require. And what is very handy, because I want to do a test measurements to get in this video, uh, a dummy cell. And our pound sense dummy cell, I'll just take it out of this bag, has three different circuits. Uh, and that is very handy because you can use these different circuits to do your first test measurements and circuits have the advantage they give very reliable results. So let's actually do this and make our first test measurement. Okay, where do we start with? Maybe a first switch on the instrument. So I connect the power supply. And I switch on the device. You see that uh, the different channels have been illuminated green while they are booting and as soon as they're ready they're illuminated blue. I connect the USB for the communication. There we go. And I need to connect myself. So if you want to connect your um, the surround plug into your potential stand. Take care that the blue dot is up, then you can easily uh, shove it in and then it's fixed. Okay, so this is now a cable for our low range version of the potential stand, which has uh, the blue reference electrode, the green ground, the red working electrode, and the black stackable counter electrode. I would like to show you in comparison to that, the version for the high range, uh, for the high range potential stand, it is the same. So it has also a green, a blue, a red, and a stackable black uh, plug, but it has additionally a white stackable lead for the sense. This is required to compensate for the cable resistance. Um, this is something you usually only need for high currents, so it's only included for the high range version of the potential stand. Okay, we have connected our cable, we have connected our potential stand, we have powered it. So now we need to, well, connect our cell, which is in this case our dummy cell. So I connect the blue clip to the reference electrode and on the dummy 
cell, I connect it to the pad labeled RE, I connect the black clip to the counter electrode and to the pad labeled CE. The red clip for the working electrode goes then to the pad labeled working electrode B. And that is a 10 kilo ohm resistor, which makes it very easy to predict what kind of results you get. Okay, so now let's have a look at the um, software that we're going to use, which is Multitrace. So I already opened it here, and you can see the software already found the multi amstead 4, and then it's LR for low range and 12CH for 12 channels. Okay, I can now select if I want to go into individual or simultaneous mode. The individual mode would allow me to perform different techniques on um, different channels at different times or the same time, while the simultaneous mode is made for making one um, technique with all active channels at the same time. Since I only have connected one channel, I will use the simultaneous mode because the window is a bit bigger to see uh, the measurement. Okay, there we are. I select the only channel that where I've actually connected something and then I can set my measurement parameters to make it easy for myself. I use one of the predefined uh, method files that we have and I go under method, load, select the method file that I want to use, which is a linear sweep voltammetry. And um, yeah, this is, uh, I can already start the measurement. You see when the measurement is running, the LED turns red. So it's nicely indicating what you're doing. Also, the status bar is opening, usually automatically. If you don't want that, you can also say that you don't want that the next time. So, and here we see already our measurement, which is a diagonal line uh, through the origin. This is exactly what we expect for a resistor in a linear sweep voltammogram. Okay, this is already what I wanted to show in this unboxing video. If you want to know more about the instrument and the specifications, just visit palmsense.com. If you don't want to miss any videos because you like these kind of videos, then subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you don't want to miss any updates, go to our LinkedIn channel and follow us. Okay, this is everything for today. So I say thanks for watching and have a great day.